Good evening, Eliana. Andres, hello, how are you? Lisa, la Yeti, la Ale, la Semia. Hello, Andres. How are you? Hi, teacher. How are Good you night. tonight? Fine, and you? Here, here. Ready to start. Nice. Uh, so Good. tell me, how's Good everything? Morning. Somebody told me you were sick. Uh, Yes, the Friday. Yes, Friday. Yeah, yes, Friday. Que había estado en la oficina y había hecho un calor horrible. Y cuando me vinieron a dejar en moto, creo que el choque del calor en la oficina y el contraste con el aire. It affected you. Entonces cuando vine a la casa sí sentía la cabeza. Yeah, I can imagine. Mm -hmm. Just give me a second. There's Ileana, there's Anna. Sitsar, how are you? Good evening. I'm fine. How's everything? How was vacation? Uh, relaxing. Relax? Relax. That's great, that's great. And eating. <laughs> Yeah, getting fat. Everybody's like that. Don't worry. Anna, how are you? Anna, hello. Activate the microphone. Hello, me escuchan? Yes, now I can. Yes, yes. Thank you. Let's see, Erika says that she's having problems with the connection because it is raining. The 
Let's see who else. Hello. Hello. Hello, Carla. Just give me a second, but some people is reporting that they are in traffic. So let's see, there's Carla, there's Mayra, Carlos, Vicente. Mayra Valladares. Hello, Mayra. Good morning, teacher. Hello, Carlos. Hi. How are you? Hi, everyone. Let's see. Three, six, seven, eight. We'll see. We'll see. Coming back from vacation, it's hard. That's good. Very good. Oh, look at Carla. She's having coffee. That's bad. Yeah. And we are just watching you having coffee. No coffee for us today. So let's see, Vicente, hello, how are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening. How's everything? Fine? Yes, fine. Okay. I can hear, is it raining? What about what? you guys? Is, is it raining? You have it? No. No. No? What about in your house, in the rest of your house? What about you, Andres? Is it raining in your house? Oh. No. Yes. Se ha calmado, como sería? It calmed down. It calmed down. Or you can say, it stopped raining. You can say it like that, or you can say it calm down. So let's see. Carla, tell me, what did you do during your vacation? Very good. And what did you do? Were you working the whole week? I went to the beach for the weekend with Oh, with, shame on you. With my son and uh, my boyfriend. Okay, okay. Have a lot. Be careful. You have fun? Yes. Um, be, be careful. And, a, and another days for the week, I have to work. Oh, really? Okay, I understand. Uh, what about you, Ileana? Did you have vacation? All week is vacation. Not teacher. Did you work? Mm, un poco. A little. A, li a little bit. A little bit. Yes, a little bit. Yeah, I can understand that. It is like this, look. A little bit. A little bit. Yep. That means like this. Okay. So, Cesar, what about you? Tell me. Vacation, no vacation. What did you do? No. Uh, I rest in my house and All right. eat, eating. <laughs> eating and watching TV. Yes, yes. So that means that you are, uh, you were a coach potato. You were a coach potato. You were resting, relaxing, 
That's fine, that's fine. Hello, Maida. What about you? Tell me, how was your week? Hello. I... My vacation, I study in my house. Okay. You were studying? Yes. Okay, who's in the dark? Thank you, Maida. Danielle, hello, good evening. How are you? Welcome. Can you ask Hello, teacher. Oh, oh, that's fine. That's fine. How are you? Fine. You, teacher? I'm just fine here waiting for everybody. So tell me, Daniel, how was your last week? What did you do? I am... Um... I am staying in my house. Uh, I am sleep very much. Oh, oh really? Um, a lot. Yeah. You can say. Yes, you can yes. say. A lot. I slept. A lot. A lot. Remember. Okay. That means a big amount. I am sleep a lot. a lot. Okay. Nice. Resting is good. Hey, there's Jenny. Jenny, I don't see you. Can you activate your camera? Oh, by the way, Carla, you need to work on the platform. You need to do the exercises from the platform. Right now, you just got uh, 566. Yes, we need 100. Please do it. Jenny, good evening. Jenny is connecting, yes. Hi. Hello. Jenny. Hello. You? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Very good. That's excellent, Jenny. And tell me, what did you do during the week? In my home. In your home? My house. That's good. That's good. Okay, today we are coming back to classes and we are going to start working with uh, activities, everyday activities from your workplace, okay? From everywhere you work. And that's going to be good. You're going to have fun with that because we are going to work with different topics, new vocabulary, which is very important for us. But let's see, what do you remember from last class? Because it's been a week without classes. So let's see, let's start with uh, Cesar. Tell me, what do you remember from last week? From the previous one, the one that we were working. Your microphone. Sorry. Uh, no study, studying verb to be. Okay. Um, possessive adjectives. Uh, okay. Spelling. Yes. Uh, the alphabet. The alphabet, nice. Okay. Uh, Please tell me, I'm sorry. Would you mind spelling your middle name? Uh, sorry, sorry. Could you spell your middle name? My middle name? Yes. Okay is Umberto, H-U-M-B-E-R-T-O. Perfect, excellent, that's nice. Okay, and possessives. Okay, tell me, what's your daughter's name? My daughter's name is Daniela. Okay, perfect, another way to say it? You remember the processes? Mm. Her, Pisa. I her, her, her. Her name. Her is. name. Her name is Daniela. Perfect. Excellent. Now let's see. Anna. Hello, Anna. Hello. How are you? Hello. 
Hello, how are you? Fine, good. I'm fine. Okay, that's nice, excellent. And tell me, Anna, how was your vacation? Did you have vacation or no vacation? I I work in vacation. Oh. I working in vacation. You had no, to work. normal. No. <laughs> yes. Normal, regular days. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. So no resting <laughs> for you. That happens. So let's see, and Andres, what about you? Working during last week or resting at home? Resting at home. Great. So you are relaxed right now. Today, did you go to work, Andre? Yes. Uh, today, uh, let's go to work. And uh, last week, um, only two days working. Oh, really? Just two days? Yes. Wow. Excellent. Mm -hmm. That's a nice week. Yes, I the this Thursday. No. Tuesday. Thursday Tuesday and uh, Sunday. Uh, Tuesday and vacation. Sunday. Mm -hmm. Oh. Nice. Good. Let's see. In my case, let me tell you. What did I do? Oh well, the problem in my house is that we are remodeling the house. So we are fixing and building, so we've been working. Hemos estado trabajando, we are remodeling the house. Okay. So many different things. Uh, we took up the, 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 the floor, we are changing the floor. And let me see what else. Uh, we are remodeling the bathrooms. Well, just one, the other bathroom is okay. We are remodeling one bathroom and we are remodeling the garden also. The little garden we have. Okay. So I've been busy, a lot of work. So hard let's work. see. <laughs> yeah, hard work, heavy work. Yeah. In this case, in this case is heavy, heavy work. Everywhere, okay. Yeah, that's in, in houses more heavy. The working it's heavier, heavier, okay. Heavier, yeah. Just Mayra, she says that she doesn't work in the house, she's like, ah, no problem, right? Mayra, hello, hello, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Really? That's nice. And tell me, Mayra, uh, how was your week? What did you do? The last week. Uh, repeat. What did you do last week? Um, I, I worked the, uh, Monday, okay. uh, Thursday. And Friday is vacation. Oh, Friday vacation. Just one day. Mm -hmm. One day. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, tell me something. Eh, vamos a ver. ¿Cómo me escuchan mejor? ¿En este? O oh, en esta entrada. ¿Cuál se oye mejor? Now or before? Ahora o antes? Now. You hear me better now? No. 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 Okay, perfect. Perfect. That's cool. It's, it's just that I have two microphones. So I am trying. Tiene mucho eco la otra. Oh, perfect. And this one, no problem. Okay, excellent. No. Excellent. Now I just have to find out if it's this or that one. Ahora tengo que acordarme cuál es cuál. Okay, let's see. Well, guys, yes, as we were saying uh, last week, well, the previous week we were working with prepositions of time. Oh, I'm sorry, with uh, 
possessives, with spelling, with verb, affirmative, negative, interrogative. Yes. We were working, we explained yes. the fractions, the I am, I'm, you are, you're. So we are we have been working in many different things. And that's good, cool, that's great. But today we are going to work with something a little bit higher, a little bit more complex. But it's going to be easy to see. Very simple, so don't worry. Okay, let's see. And the first activity we are going to do, it's from the manual. In the manual, we are going to work today, we're going to start working in page number 19. Okay, and just let me fix it up so everybody can watch it. Okay, I'm going to share with you. Okay, let's see. Can you see? Okay, can you see it? Yes? Yes. Okay, excellent, excellent. So, today, today we are going to describe job, the job positions and the activities you perform every day at work. Okay, we are going to work with this everyday activities. Where? Where you work, okay? Okay, let's see. We are going to talk about First, we are going to do this exercise. We are going to make a small brainstorm about your positions in your workplace, and we are going to do to talk about activities that are performed in your workplace, okay? Now, let's see. Uh, Cesar, you're an engineer. Yes, I am. Okay, please, tell me three activities you perform. Okay, uh, I am an elevator sales advisor. Okay, and what do I you do? I work with industry and construction. Okay. And I'm interrel interrelation with my clients. Clients. Clients, okay, clients. Okay. Perfect. Carla, tell me, what do you do? And please tell me three activities you do in your work. Um, my job description includes um, a inventory manager um, in charge of the dispatch to Brech. Okay. Um, Equipment, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Equipment. Equipment. Logistic. Equipment. Yes. Equipment. Production. Logistic. Okay, excellent, excellent. Now let's see, Andres, please tell me what. I, tell me three things you do in your workplace. Uh, reception, um, factor of um, clients. Okay. And elaboration of factor on client también. Billing? Yes. What do you mean, billing? Facturar? Billing. Ah, facturar. Billing. Billing, okay. There's a billing and client. Okay. Um, elaboration offer. This, this product, the second, according, according the uh, necessity of client. Okay, according to their needs. Okay, according to their needs. Okay. You see? According to their needs. Uh, their, their needs. Their. There. Perfect. Let's Thanks. see, Daniel, tell me, what do you do, Daniel?
Daniel, I'm sorry, the microphone. Oh, okay. Planning production. Okay, you plan production. Um, the chat. Uh, how do you say cost? Cost. Cost. The check cost in okay. the order production. Perfect. Um, um, that's that's okay. Name. That's okay. No problem. No problem. Now let's see, Jenny. What about you, Jenny? Tell me three activities you do in your workplace. Uh, in my work, uh, I make checks. Okay. I make letters. Perfect. I make uh, codes, no cotizaciones. Okay. Uh, I work with uh, clients from Client. Client. Uh, clients. I work with clients from Central America and Caribbean by uh, emails. By emails. Mm -hmm. Central America and the, and the Caribbean. In the Caribbean, sí. Okay, okay. So let's see, mm, cotization, that would be pricing. Uh, pricing. 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 Yes. I made pricing. Yes. I made the pricing. Yes, you can say it uh -huh. like that. So let's see. Uh, Thank you, Jenny. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you. That's enough. That's enough. She got excited. Se me emocionó. That's good. That's good. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Vicente, tell me. What about you? What do you do? Tell me, please, three activities you perform in your workplace. Okay. I am a project and design, design manager. Okay. Uh, I make evaluation visit for a possible client. Clients. Clients, perfect. And, uh, and I also design and calculate the work to be done. Okay, good. And I make and that we call shadows. Okay, nice. Interesting. So you're a very busy guy. Muy ocupado. Yes. Okay. Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Hello. I made two, two boys. Okay. Uh, I made to sell. I sell. Uh, I sell. I... You don't need to say I make two. No necesita decir el I make two. You say I sell. I say, I sell. Eh, deliver. Ok. Y cotizaciones, que no sé cómo se dice. Pricing. You can say pricing. Pricing. Yes. Ok, perfect, excellent. Let's see. Okay. Hey, there's Maybelline. Maybelline Janita, hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Please, Maybelline, why, please tell me three activities you perform in your workplace. Okay. Record in con cost and expenses. Okay, cost and expenses. Prepare of Financial statement. Okay, financial, financial. Y, pre y preparation of tax return. Okay. Tax returns. Tax return. Tax, tax. Tax. Tax returns. And you will say incomes and outcomes. Incomes and outcomes refer to, uh, no sé, en contabilidad le llaman este, egresos, ingresos. Ah, sí. Incomes and outcomes. Ah, ok. Ok. okay. Sí. Perfect. Hello, Julio. Good evening. Welcome back. Thank you, teacher. Good How evening. You? Better? Ya mejor? Yes. Yes. <laughs> excellent, excellent. I am glad. Tell me, Julio, uh, what do you do in your work? 
¿A qué se dedica? ¿Qué hace? Eh, asesor technical. The other way around. The other way. Technical assessor. Uh, technical assessor. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. And what does a technical assessor does? ¿Qué hace un asesor técnico? Simple. I prepare the computer. Okay. Oh, that's cool. So you are the one that everybody is calling like, come help, come help. Todo el mundo lo sigue. Sí, yes. Okay, okay, I understand that. Jennifer, welcome. Good night. Good evening. Hello, Jennifer. Tell me, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm very tired. Oh, tired. Oh, come yeah. on, I understand. First day of the week is terrible. Yes. Los son horribles. Okay, tell me, Jennifer. Tell me, please, three activities you do in your workplace. I do inspection um, in uh, bodegas, no sé cómo se dice. Storage? Uh-huh. And oh. I inspection and the prepare, uh, donde se preparan los alimentos. Okay, where food is cooked. Prepared. Oh, prepare. Okay, instead of saying I do inspection, you can say I perform inspection. I perform. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. Now let's see. Okay, guys, I'm going to share again the image so you can see the other part. Let me see, let me see. All oh, right here. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, just give me a second, guys. I need to. Okay, perfect. Now, please, just listen. Because the instruction says, listen to your teacher, read the following job positions, then match them with the activities they perform. We have a bookkeeper, Hume, a financial analyst. Human Resource Specialist, Digital Marketing Manager, Insurance Agent, Software Engineer. Okay, now, number one says, keep track of the financial accounts of companies. Number two, help people and business manage their finances. Number three, Know the policies and regulations involved in the management of employees. Number four, create and advertise the company over the social media. Number five, help people in companies against financial loss and manage risks. Number six, design and develop different software. Okay, now, vocabulary. Any question about the vocabulary? Remember, we are in page number 19 from the manual. Any questions about vocabulary? Preguntas de vocabulario? Yo no, lo, no lo veo muy bien el vocabulario. No sé si, si pudiera ver un poquito mejor. Let's see, let's see, Carlos. Uh, what about like this? I made it bigger. Lo hice un poquito más grande. Ok, ok. Ok. Bookkeeper. Okay, bookkeeper, it's um it's a little bit like an old fashioned word. Do you know the bookkeeper? Uh, it's what we used to call here in Spanish tenedor de libros. Do you know what is that? Yes, yes. It's uh, an accountant. Okay. Okay. What so, is an insurance agent? Insurance. Oh, okay. yes. Uh, aseguranza. Ah, okay. The agent of the aseguranza. Uh, That's an agente, insurance. Agente de seguros. Yes, exactly. 
Okay, okay. Okay, now, any other work? Look, in number one, keep track. That's dar seguimiento. Keep track. That expression, keep track, dar seguimiento. Okay? Number two, let's see. Uh, help people in business manage. Do you know this verb, manage? To administrate? Okay? Okay. Administrate their finances. Number three, know the policies and regulations involved in the management of employees. Number four, create an Pol Albert. Uh, teacher, sorry, yes. sorry. Policies, what is? Policies, politicas. Policies, ah, okay. Number four, create and advertise the company over the social media. Advertise. Do you know what is advertise, guys? Anunciar. Okay? That's to advertise. The company over the social media. And number six, design and develop different softwares. Develop, desarrollar. Develop. So let's see. Uh, Cesar, are you there? Yes, yes. Please, read letter A. Bookkeeper. Perfect, letter B. Financial analyst. Excellent, Andres, letter C. Human resource specialist. Great, letter D please, Andres. Digital marketing manager. Excellent, Carla, letter E. Insurance agent. Insurance agent. Insurance agent. Perfect. And letter F, please, Carla. Software engineer. Software engineer. Great. Excellent. Now, let's see who else is here around. Um, Ana Palacios, tell me, what's number one letter? A, B, C, D, E, F. Financial analyst. Financial analyst. That's number one for you? Eh, perdón, la pregunta. Number one, el ejercicio número uno. ¿Qué letra con Ah, ah perdón, perdón. El que está... Corresponde... Perdón, perdón. Eh, una... Financiero, 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 en sur. Eh, e. Ok, letter E, insurance es, agent. Actually, this exercise, this exercise is very simple. Look, guys. Number one, keep track of the financial accounts of companies. ¿Quién es el que vigila las cosas eh, de la compañía? Bookkeeper. Ay. Ay, B. <laughs> Letter E, bookkeeper, el contador. Contador, sí. Number two, help people in business manage their finances, the financial eh, analyst. The financial, okay. Number three, know the policies and regulations. That's the... Know the policies and regulations involved in the management of employees, of course, human resources especially. So they are in order. It's very simple. Number four, create and advertise the company over the social media. Of course, the digital marketing manager. Number five, help people in companies against financial loss and manage risk. Oh, that's the insurance agent. And Letter six, design and develop different software. Of course, the software engineer. So in this case, the exercise was very simple because everything was exactly in order. So no problem with that, right? Now let's continue. Okay, let's see. 
that's the way some some professions, some activities, some occupations could be described. Okay, now I am going to ask you to do something a little bit different. Okay, I need you to describe the position of somebody else in your company. Les voy a pedir a algunos, no a todos, que me describan la posición, the work of somebody else in your company. De alguien más de su compañía. Not just you, somebody else. Okay? So let's start, let's see who's going to be volunteer. Who's gonna be volunteer? Thank you, Andres, you are the volunteer. Okay. <laughs> okay, Andres, tell me. Tell me the position of somebody else. Uh, yes, um, my partner company is, uh, your name is Osmildo. His name? He, his name is Osmildo. Okay. Uh, here is he Messenger. Is. He Mes is Messenger. Okay. Uh, the working is... His uh, work? Uh, his work is... Uh, cobro, sería? Billing? Billing at clients. Okay. And in, uh, That's uh, okay. Uh, That's okay. Delivery. The delivery delivery products of clients. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Thank you, Andres. Okay, now the way Andres did it, let's see. Eliana, please. Yes. Tell me, Eliana. Uh, the position of somebody else in your company and your workplace. Um, my partner is a stylist. Stylist. A stylist. Uh, the cut um, hair. Hair. Okay. Cut hair. Uh, and manicures. Oh, they do manicure. Uh, yes. Um, okay. Tell only. Me what else? Just that. Perfect. Excellent. Now let's see uh, who else wants to participate. Let's see, now we are going to try something else. Please raise your hand, who wants to participate right now? Oh, come on, nadie me levanta la mano. Okay, now I'm going to point then. Let's see, Vicente, tell me, explain to me please, somebody else's job in your company. And, uh... My partner is gardener. Okay, a gardener, please. And okay. his name Osiris. Okay, what does he do? Uh, cut grass. Okay, cut the grass, perfect. Cut the grass and um, uh, Oh. Plant trees, perhaps? Oh, yes. Plant, plant trees. Different trees. Okay. Different nice. trees and different plants. Okay. And, and what or, ornamental and... Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Comestibles. Comestibles. Oh, that's edible. Edible. Yeah, look at the... Look in the chat. Edible. Edible. Yes, that's the things that you can eat. Okay, perfect, thank uh, you. Don't worry, don't worry, that's enough, that's enough. Save some for later, guardame un poquito para más tarde. We are going to continue with this activity. Cesar. Hello. Please tell me about somebody from your company. Okay, um, my boss. My boss name is Roberto. Okay. He is the general manager. Oh. He is the 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 own, the owner of, of the, the company. company. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and he authorize authorize payments authorize payments payments payments. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, nice. And 
Thank you. Let's see who else, who else, who else, who else. Jennifer, please. Hello. Tell me, Jennifer, somebody from your company. Um, she name is Lloyd her name, Vega. Her name. Her name. Her name. Her name is Lloyd Vega. She is an industrial civic civil engineer. Okay. She coordinate uh, projects of constru construction or modification. Okay. And uh, he she coordinate uh, repairs. Repair. Okay, repairs. Repair. In todo. Okay. <laughs> Okay, no problem. That's okay. That's enough. That's great. Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Hi, teacher. Tell me about somebody else in your company. Um, my company is, is baking. Okay. Baking the food. Uh, my boss is general manager. Excellent. Um, The, um, <laughs> um, the plan is to use, to use the baking aliments okay. and the safe production. Okay, perfect. Corrector baking. Okay. And only that. Okay. Now, guys, we are going to do an exercise, just the group, okay? Uh, let's see. But before we do the exercise, we are going to go to a little grammar explanation right now, okay? Because... Uh, this exercise we have been doing the explanation of the, the explanation of job activities is important because it is related to the activity to the whole activity of the class for today because today we are working with simple present that's the grammar okay the grammar point we are covering today is the simple present tense but uh, you will see soon why did we do this exercise okay so let's see i'm going to share with you a small explanation let me see this was in okay just give me a second let's see Perfect. Let's see. Let's see. Now, uh, the present simple tense or the simple present tense. Do you remember last week we were working with the verb be? But today we are going to work with something a little bit more complex. Now, let's see. Positive and negative, okay? Now, positive. The way in which we use the simple present is like this. Subject, verb, complement. Simple, no? Vaya, acá una pequeña explicación. Cuando nosotros utilizamos el presente simple para aplicarlo en la forma afirmativa, sujeto, verbo, complemento. Pero, como ustedes podrán ver, esto lo hacemos nosotros cuando y solamente cuando nos referimos a primera persona, segunda persona y tercera. Primera persona, segunda persona y singular y plural. Pero cuando hablamos de la tercera persona, he, she, o it, we add es, agregamos una S, o, y es. En algunos verbos agregamos es. 
okay? So, he likes cheese. She likes cheese. It likes cheese. Or the mouse, okay? El ratón likes cheese. For the negative, we use do or does. For the negative form, we use do or does. Now, this is very interesting. Look. Do or does is the auxiliary for the simple present tense. What is the meaning? Que significa absolutely nothing. Okay? It doesn't mean anything. And this is very important for everybody to understand. Okay, I will switch just for a second to the Spanish. Voy a cambiar un momentito al español para el punto gramatical, okay? Presente simple, forma afirmativa. Utiliza sujeto, verbo, complemento. Cuando habla de él o de ella, o de un objeto o de un animal, le agrega S al verbo. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver de qué, a qué me estoy refiriendo. Vamos a hacer algo. Let's see. Ok. Let's... I will present, I will share with you a small PowerPoint page where I'm going to be explaining. Voy a poner una PowerPoint donde voy a ir explicando eh, slower, donde voy a ir explicando un poquito más lento, ¿ok? This is a blank one. Let me see, where is it? Mm. Hold on. Let's see. Can you see this? ¿Lo podemos ver? Yes. The blank. Okay, let's see. Perfect. Now, the simple present. What we do is this, look. I like sports. Can you see it? ¿La vemos? Yes. Ok, perfecto. What is I is the subject. Ok, hold on, just a second. Ok, I like sport. That's the subject. I like, in this case, is the verb. And sports is simply the complement. As simple as that. I like sports. Subject, verb, complement. Now, when and just when we talk about he, she, or it, in this case, When we talk about he, she, or it, in this and just in this situation, we do something else. Okay? And what is it that something else we do? It's very simple. We say we like, we add an S. Le agregamos una S. The regular verb is like. In this case, what we do is to add S. Okay, imagine the verb go. What do we do? In this case, we have ES. Goes. Goes. Imagine a verb that ends in K. Un verbo que termina en consonante. Work. Works. You see? Uh, in this case, wash. Washes. Learn, learns, okay? 
So just when we are talking about he, she, or it. Is that clear? ¿Se entiende acá? Yes. Ok. Eh, oh, eh, teacher. Yes, tell me. A mi question. Eh, bueno, me va a decir en español. ¿Cómo saber cuándo es solo S o cuándo es ES? Oh, let's do something. En el foro les voy a compartir las reglas. Y les voy a poner un pequeño ejercicio, ¿ok? Ok, excelente. Don't worry, don't worry, I will. Because it's very simple, it's very simple. I will, uh, I will include a, as, a, as a picture. Se la voy a incluir como un dibujo, porque es como una imagen. Ok. Voy a tomar una captura de donde tengo las reglas y se la voy a incluir para que sea más fácil. Y, and we can, I mean, we can use this time for more for speaking. Is that okay with you? ¿Les parece bien? Así utilizamos más este tiempo para hablar. Ok. Now. That's when we talk about uh, affirmative form. La forma afirmativa. Like I say, Andres uh, works a lot. Vicente relaxes in his job. Julio attends to classes. Carla smiles a lot. She's very smiling. Okay. Jennifer uh, works very hard. You see, can you always hear the S at the end? Escuchamos la S, ¿verdad? Myra goes to work every day in the morning. Jenny cooks for her husband. I hope so. Eso esperamos que le cocine, ¿verdad? Yes, she says, yes, I do. Okay, so, uh, Cesar uh, helps his daughter. Cesar le ayuda a su hija. Cesar helps his daughter. You see, Ana pays attention to the class. Daniel drinks coffee. Yes, he is. Uh, the teacher, I'm sorry, guys. The teacher drinks water. I'm sorry. Okay. So, as you can see, it's very simple. But now comes the negative form. The negative form uses as an auxiliary, and I explained that to you, do or does. La forma negativa utiliza do and does. What is the meaning? Nothing. ¿Cuál es el significado? Ninguno. When we use it as an auxiliary, don't worry. There's no meaning. ¿Ok? Cuando lo utilizamos como auxiliar, no se preocupe. No tiene significado. ¿Ok? Just, it helps us to understand that the verb is in simple present, negative form, or interrogative form. Solo nos sirve a nosotros para entender que el verbo está en su forma presente simple, afirmativo, o negativo. Is that important? Yes, it is. ¿Por qué es importante entonces? Y lo es, sí lo es. Because for the negative, for the simple past, we use the same structure. Para el pasado simple vamos a usar la misma estructura. Afirmativo, sujeto, verbo, complemento. Just that the verb goes in past. So, that's why we must pay attention, pay careful attention to the auxiliary. It is very important. Okay? Any question up to now? ¿Alguna pregunta? No? Okay, cool. Let's continue. So, let me continue sharing with you so you can watch the presentation. Now, you see, in this case, 
When we are talking about I, we, you, or they, what do we do? We use do not or don't. I don't like cheese. We don't like cheese. You don't like cheese. They don't like cheese. In this case, when we talk about he, she, or it, remember, this is the third person, singular, okay? In this case, we use as an auxiliary, does. Does not, or in this case, contractile, doesn't. He doesn't like cheese. She doesn't like cheese. It doesn't like cheese. Okay? Remember, the auxiliary is helping us. It's letting us know that the verb is in simple present tense. Okay? That's the function of the auxiliary. Any question? Teacher. Yes? One question. And Tell me, Vicente. She, he, it, and uh, affirmative sentence use adverb S or ES. Yes. In the negative. In yes. negative. Yes, tell me, Vicente, tell me. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, ya, ya entendí. In the negative, the ES goes in the auxiliary. Because you see, in the negative, and he do. does. The do changes to does. She does. He does not. Does. Exactly, perfect. Any other question? Okay, perfect. Like I say, mm, let's see. Carla doesn't participate in class. I'm kidding, Carla, I'm kidding. She's like, mm, no, I do participate. Okay, it's like I say, Jennifer doesn't smile. She's very serious. Okay, or I can say, uh, Cesar doesn't lose any class. He's always in the class, you see? But in the case, in my case, I say, uh, I don't, you see, I do not attend to class. That's different. Okie dokie, let's see, guys. It's time for the attendance. So I need to hear everybody saying present. Let's see, Carlos Alberto Menendez. Present. Thank you. Maria Eliana Corleto. Present. Thank you. Ana Maria Palacios. Present. Perfect. Maybelline Michelle. Mm, no here. She said she was in traffic. Ella dijo que estaba en tráfico. We will see. Erika del Carmen. Oh, she, report, she reported problems because of the rain, but we will see if she can connect. Jennifer Elizabeth Hueso. Present. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Jose Reinaldo Sandoval. No here. Claudia Patricia Granados. Oh, she said she was in traffic. Andres Alberto Orellana. Present. Thank you, Andres. Cesar Humberto Lopez Moreno. Present. Thank you. Gianni Lisette Escobar de Orellana. Present. Thank you. Jose Versolis. Absent. Okay. Vicente Alexander Reyes. Present. Thank you. Daniel Arturo Montes Medrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Lisette Valladares. Present. Thank you. Marcos Ivan. Hey, Marcos is not here. That's weird. Marcos no vino hoy. Crisia Madeline. Mm, she didn't appear. Maybelline, Janira. Present. Thank you. Carla Yvonne Bolaños Aviles. Present. Thank you, Carla. Julio Alonso. Present. Thank you, Julio. 
Okay, let's see, let's see. We will hope the rest can connect. Tengo dos o tres que dijeron que tal vez se conectaban un poquito tarde. We hope they do. Okay, guys. So, let's continue. As you can see, I was telling you, simple present. It is used, uh, it is a structure, subject, verb, complement, affirmative form. Negative form, subject, auxiliary, do or does, okay, plus the verb, plus the complement. Now, there's something very important. Remember, I said Vicente works a lot. Listen, Vicente works. There's an S. Now, we listen the negative form. Vicente doesn't work. No S. Why not? Because the S or the ES goes to the auxiliary. La S o la S se fue al auxiliar. In the third person, you see? Ya no va en el verbo. Cuando es negativo, desde el momento que va el auxiliar, la SOS desaparece y se fue al auxiliar. Es por eso que para la tercera persona, cuando hablo de he, she, or it, the auxiliary changes from do to does. El auxiliar me cambia de do a does. ¿Estamos bien? Yes. Ok. Now comes the most important part of the simple present. Ahora viene la parte más importante. That is not actually the structure. The structure is very important. La estructura es muy importante. But there's another part that is perhaps as much important as the structure. Hay una parte que es quizás tan importante como lo es la estructura. And we are going to watch it right in this moment. Okay? No, we don't need this. Oh. When do we use the simple present? Okay, we use it to express habits. We use the present simple to talk about things we do all of the time. Examples. I get the service bus at 7 every morning. Ali brushes his teeth before he goes to bed. I play football at break time. My sister goes sailing at the weekend. We are talking about habits. What are habits? Things we do all the time. Hablamos sobre hábitos. ¿Qué son esos? Cosas que hacemos todo el tiempo. Okay? Those are habits. Questions? Preguntas? No? Okay, look. Remember, I get. You see? I get. No es. Ali, third person. Brushes. I play. No es. My sister goes sailing at the weekend. First thing, hábitos. Lo primero, hábitos. What are habits? Things we do all the time. ¿Qué son los hábitos? Cosas que hacemos todo el tiempo. Todo el tiempo. Okay? Like, um, let's see. Oh, I, I shave once a week. Me rasuro. Well, now that I'm not in, in the... In the school every day, ahora que no estoy en la escuela todos los días, I shave once a week. Me rasuro una vez a la semana. That's why I got some hair. You see? But, uh, Cesar tell me, no, teacher, I go to work. I go to work every day. He says, él va al trabajo todos los días. That's why he shaves every day. Habit. Okay? El hábito. You see? Uh, Andrés says, uh, Andrés, tell me, how regularly do you shave your mustache? Uh, 
that uh, the quarantine no shave. <laughs> okay. So for a few months you have not shaved. Yeah. Por unos meses no se rasurado. Okay, that's yeah. nice. That's mm -hmm. nice. Uh, what about you, Carla? Tell me. Carla, hello. Hi. Hi. Tell me, Carla. Uh, how regularly do you cut your hair? I cannot hear you. Oh, no. No me lo corto. I don't. I don't. I, I don't. Cut it. Cut it. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, Ileana, tell me. Yes. Do you do you dye your hair? Uh, uh, oh, once some. Uh, once a month. Once a month. Once a month. I ask her, do you dye tenir? Okay. And she says, uh, once a month. Once a month. A wow. Month. So she's very sick with that. <laughs> we are talking about, we are, remember, we are talking about things we do in a regular fashion. Okay. Okay. Things we do all the time. Son cosas que hacemos todo el tiempo. Those are habits. Like Cesar tells me, I wake up every day very early. Yo me despierto todos los días muy temprano. And Julio tells me, eh, I never wake up before six. Julio me dice, nunca me despierto antes de las seis. That's habit. You see, he says, says, no way, Jose. De ninguna manera, he says. And Carla says, oh, I go to bed very late Julio at no night. De las de la mañana. Sí. Okay, so you see, we are talking about habits, things we do all the time. Questions up to now? Preguntas hasta este momento? No questions? Okay, great, great, great. Let's see. Just let me see that somebody else is reporting. And let's see. Okay, let's continue. Sorry. Now, as you can see, the simple present is very simple. But it's not used just for that. That's not the only usage it has. That's the only uso que tiene. We can use it for something different. And we are going to watch that right now. Okay? So we were saying that we can use it for habits. Okay? Now, let's see. Things that are always true. Cosas que siempre son verdad. We use the present simple to talk about things that are always, all the time, true. Okay? Like, the sky is blue. That's a fact. Eso es un hecho. The sky is blue blue the earth goes round the sun the earth goes round the sun la tierra va alrededor del sol that's a fact i am a student sdb is on the asian side of istanbul tigers are big cats School starts at 8.05 a.m. and finishes at 3.30 p.m. We are talking about 
facts, things that are always true. Now, somebody was asking for this. Alguien me preguntó por esto, ¿verdad? Remember, verbs ending in CH, S, S, H, O, X, they add S, E, S. Watch, watches. Guess, guesses. Finish, finishes. Go, goes. Fix, fixes. Okay? Verbs ending in a consonant, B, C, D, F, G, change Y to I, S, lad. Study, studies. Carry, carries. Fly, flies. Any question? No, teacher. Teacher, please repeat the uh, slide. Repeat? Uh, the last uh, slide. This one? No. Yes, thanks. Are you taking a picture? Yes, thanks. Okay, can I pass it now? Yes. Okay, so let's remember. Verbs ending in CH, S, S, H, O, X, they add ES. Watch, watches, guess, guesses, finish, finishes, go, goes, fix, fixes. Verbs ending in a consonant, B, Z, D, F, G, change Y to I, E, S. Study, studies. Carry, carries. Fly, flies. El verbo que termina en consonante y después de la consonante Y cambia por I latina y agrega ES. ¿Ok? Ok, guys. Now I have mistakes here. First sentence is Do he like basketball? Now let's see. Ana, do you see do you see the mistake? Puede ver usted el error? Yes. What is the mistake? The mistake likes. Perfect. I know. Thank you, Daniel. Now let's see. Vicente, tell me, I like eating pizza. What's the mistake? Yes, and very uh, like. Okay, what is the correct sentence? I like eating pizza. Okay, perfect. Ana Palacios, can you hear me? Oh, perhaps she's... Oh, yes. Okay, Anna. Look at this sentence. She do her homework on the service bus. What is the mistake? She. In this case, yes, because we are talking about her. We are using she. We don't she. use do. We use she. 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 Does. She does, does. her she homework. Uh-huh. On the on service, the service bus. 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 Okay, bus. perfect. Andres. Hello, Andres. Hi, teacher. Tell me, Andres, the phone finished at 8. What's the mistake? Uh, at the film, the, the film finish 8. Finishes. Finishes. Remember, SH, we use, do you remember the rule, guys? When we talk about, look, SH, we are ES. So the film finishes at A. Perfect. Now let's see, Ileana. Yes, see. Okay, my friends goes on holiday next week. What's the mistake? Uh, my friends goes on 
holiday in Australia. Sería en goes. Okay, why? Because we have friends, plural, remember? ¿Se recuerdan? So, sí. as Ileana said, my friends go. My friends go, go. on holiday Hol next week. Perfect. Excellent, Ana. Excellent, Ileana, I'm sorry. Now, let's see. Jenny. Hello, Jenny. Hello. Look at this sentence. It says, she carries her little sister to the car in the morning. Okay, what's the mistake? The mistake, as you can see, is here in the verb. Because, why? You see? Hay una Y. And what's the rule? Look. Carry. Carries. 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 See? Okay. So, she carries, she carries her little sister to the car in the morning. In the morning. Sí. Okay. Julio. Hello, Julio. Okay, Julio, tell me. Nicole Kidman act in a lot of films. What is the mistake? Julio, can you activate your microphone? Nicole Kidman acts in a lot of films. Perfect, acts. The S in act, remember, acts, because we are talking about Nicole Kidman. We are saying she acts. Carla. Hello, Carla. Thank you, Julio. Hello. Now, Carla, tell me, we place in the garden at break. What's the mistake? We place in the garden at the break. Okay, what's the correct? And we play in we the play. garden. Excellent. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybelline. Tell me, Maybelline. The last yes. sentence. Our teacher talk very clearly. Very clear. Or our teacher tell very clear. In this case, the mistake is in talk. Because when we are talking about our teacher, we are saying he. He talks. Ah, uh, tiene que decir he teacher tal very clear, clearly. Talks. Estamos Talk. enfocándonos en la regla del uso de la S y la ES. ¿Ok? S y la ES. Ah, okay. En este caso, cuando hablamos de nuestro profesor, decimos él. So, he talks. Because... You remember that when we talk about he, she, or it, we add s or es to the verb, okay? Okay. Okay. So, questions up to now? Preguntas? No. No? Okay, just let me check something. Who's missing? Oh, Jennifer is missing. She disconnect. I wonder what happened to Jenny. So, let's see. Uh, let's continue. Okay. Now, we are going to do a small activity in breakout rooms. What are you going to do? It's very simple. You are going to go to the breakout room and you are going to say, we are going to be working in Paris. You are going to say like, hi, my name is Douglas. I am a teacher. I teach English. I prepare classes. Uh, I check homeworks. I grade exams. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. 
I am talking about what do I do. Estoy hablando sobre lo que yo hago. I teach classes. I prepare classes. I check homeworks. Reviso tareas. I grade exams. Califico exámenes. So I'm talking about what I do. What you are going to do is we are going to go to the breakout room and we, you are going to tell your partner what you do. Because when we come back from the breakout rooms, you are going to tell me about the other person. So imagine that I'm working with, uh, let's see, with, uh, with Vicente. I will tell you, okay, Vicente is, he is an architect. He designs landscape. Uh, he checks uh, or he evaluates somebody. I'm going to say what he does, okay? So, I will repeat. I'm going to divide you. You are going to go and you are going to share among you. You're going to tell the other person what you do. Got it? Entendemos? Yes. Hello, Claudia. She's trying to connect, I guess. But she's here. So, I'm going to divide you right now, guys. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay. Okay, guys, you are being asked. Remember, you have to join. Then may you need to please, or join. Claudia, tendría que darle unirse. Oh, I think you're in movement right now. Creo que va en movimiento, ¿verdad? Okay, Claudia, no problem, no problem. No worry, you can listen to the class. Let's see, we are going to do this. Uh, I'm going to move you to I'm assisting. His work for? I'm assisting. ¿Cómo se escribe? M y M, así como se oye. M y M. M M I M. M I M. M I M. Oh, that's right, that's right. <laughs> for M M I M. System. System. Systems. And um, I make evaluation visits to potential cl clients. And uh, I like motor motorcycles. And uh, I like to design. <laughs> Hello. 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 You finished already? Terminaron? No. 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 Well. Okay. okay, one minute. One more minute, I, okay? Un minuto les queda. I, 
I am an accountant. An accountant. I work an accountant. Work ah. on accounting. I register finance. Uh, okay, my or you? My turn. My turn. My, my turn. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. My... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, yes, please, yes, sister. Yes. My turn. My turn. I will type. I will send you the word. It says turn. 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 Okay. The word? Okay. Yes. Turn. Turn. Okay. Excellent. Uh, I am Cesar Lopez. I uh, results and service of uh, conditioner higher. Service air, uh, air conditioner. Computers. Air conditioner or computers? Computers. Computers. Yes. Computers. Computers. Uh, okay. Nice. Um, support in um support su support uh -huh. and sales. ventas como se sales 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 uh -huh. okay. you finish yes. yes okay one minute in one minute we go back okay okay hi cloud I think she's driving. Ah, okay. <laughs> no razón. <laughs> that. Uh... Okay, okay, let's see, almost everybody's coming back. missing I'm missing someone let's see oh there's Fred Claudia there's Julia okay let's see Andres tell me who did you work with sorry uh, hi uh, I am uh, working with uh, Julio Duran. Okay, tell me about Julio, please. Uh, he's uh, technical support and company Valdez. Okay, for Valdez company, perfect. He, he's um, 28 years old. Okay. Uh, she in, in that support um, uh, sale um, computer. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. What else? That's enough. Julio, tell me about Andres, please. Hello. Uh, um, Andres, um, I am uh, administrative uh, administrative uh, manager 
Okay, okay. And Andres is. Andres is. Ajá. Perfect. Andres is a administrative manager. Okay. Uh, and has and has more than years. Uh, six. In the, in the company. Sí. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you, Julio. Carla, tell me, who do you work with? His name is Carlos Menendez. Okay, tell me about Carlos. He works for MEM system. Okay, what does he do? He makes a delivery. Okay. He He's a seller. Okay, excellent. That's it. That's it. Perfect. So let's see, where is Carlos? Carlos, hello, tell me about Carla. Uh, her name is Carla Bonaños. Okay, uh, perfect. She works, works Valdez. She works for Valdez, excellent. Her uh, store is an logistic manager. Okay, she is a storage and logistic manager. She is. Yes, in this case, cheese. Perfect. Okay. Thank cheese. you very much. Cheese in inventory manager. Okay. Uh, cheese equipment production logistic. Okay, listen, Carlos. Equipment. Equipment. Yes, equipment. Equipment. Perfect. Okay. Oh, thank you, Carlos. Let's see, Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Hello, teacher. Tell me, who do you work with? Um, I work in Rua. No, with whom did you work? Con quien trabajo? Ah, oh, okay. Vicente. Vicente, okay, tell me about Vicente. Vicente is an uh, architect. Okay, he an architect. The position. He is an architect. He is an architect. Uh huh. Uh, he is the position design project manager. Okay, designs. What else? Tell me, does his, he his activity, his activity is the, the, check, the check design project. Okay, perfect. Uh, design project, um, administration project. Okay, administrate the project. Perfect. Only that. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Vicente, tell me about Daniel. Okay, uh, he is Daniel Montes. He is an industrial engineer. He works at Rua. Okay, perfect. And uh, he he checks supply production. Okay. Also, he supervise his supervisor. He supervises. And he jobs he supervises. He supervises. She's his job. supervisor. Okay. A supervisor, that's the, the, the name of the profession, of the activity, of the occupation. A supervisor, the verb, supervises. Okay. He supervises. supervises. Okay. And he jobs as production manager. He works. He works as. He works. A production manager. He works as production manager. Perfect. Excellent. Now let's see who's missing. Who's missing? Eliana. Hello. Hello, teacher. Tell me, Eliana, who do you work with? Uh, Caesar. Okay, tell me about Cesar. Cesar is an engineer. Okay. And works in a PMB. 
Okay. I, I, I not remember, teacher. You don't remember? Come on. Okay. <laughs> Now, Cesar, you got double work. Tell me, what do you do? <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I am a sales uh, industrial equipment. Okay. I sell industrial equipment. Equipment. And I visit uh, potential, potential clients and permanent clients. Great. So you do yes. what you do is follow up. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I follow up. A follow up. Seguimiento. Seguimiento. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I work. I work it with Ileana. Okay. She is uh, Ileana Corleto. Okay. Uh, she she works at the Sheraton Presidente Hot, Hotel. Hotel. Uh, hotel. She is a stylist. She's a stylist. Perfect. She has one year of work. Oh, really? She, she, she loves her job. She loves. Uh, she serves eh, eh, huéspedes, ¿cómo se dice? Host. Huéspedes. Host. Host. Oh, okay. She serves host. <coughs> okay, what else? Only one. Okay, only that. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You said huésped. Huésped? Yes, that's guest. Guest. Ah, okay. Do you know that word? Let me see. I will put it Only for that. everybody. Guest. Only that. Guest. Guest. In plural. Guest. Yes, that's huéspedes. Okay. Host is the opposite. Ah, okay. Okay? Host okay. is the opposite. Uh, any question? No, no. It's okay. Let's see. Everybody participate? No. Myra, let's see. Tell me, Myra. Who do you work with? I cannot hear you. Myra, hello. Okay, Anna, no. tell me. Anna, activate the microphone. Not yet. Now, perfect. Uh, my dad is content finance. Okay. Eh, cuenta, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Cuentas, cobros. Eh, eh, Dennis. Re, Dennis. Eh, regis, res, registro, re, ¿cómo se dice? Registre. Registro. 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 Finance. Okay. Eh, 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 kit. Con recibo. Ok, receipts. Eh, re, receipt. Eh, cierres, cierres, cierres financieros. Oh, that's financial. That, that finance. Se me olvida la última palabra. I'll try to that, remember because I know it. Yo la conozco. Just give me a second to remember, ok? I will. Ok. <laughs> ok, ok. Thank you. And Jenny, tell me, Jenny. Hola, hello. Who do you work with? Uh, with nobody. Nobody? No. Why not? No había nadie. O sea, no, no, no tuve pareja. No hablé really, con Really, I am so sorry for that 
mistake. Uh, I am so sorry, Jenny, but tell me, Jenny, about yourself. I told her about myself. Yes, what do you do? My name is Jenny Orellana. Okay. I work I work at Precision. Okay, what do you do there? Uh, I make checks. Okay. I prepare letters. I prepare letters, perfect. Letters. I make pricing. Okay. Pricing. Uh, pricing. I make pricing. Uh, elaboration of invoice. Okay, invoices. Invoices. Perfect, thank you. Financial closing, uh, Anna. Financial closing. That's. Uh, thank you, yeah. financial closing. Thank yes. you. Okay, guys. Now, let's see. It's very simple, no? Now, I want you to notice something. Quiero que nos fijemos en algo. We are using his, her, and you are using it very natural. That's the possessive, and that's great. For the last class of the course, we will do a small uh, project, okay? But I will let you know later. We are building the, the information because you are going to talk about yourself in your final class using everything we have learned, okay? And we have a lot to cover yet. You will see it's going to be fun. So in that way, you can see your advances. De esa manera van a poder apreciar sus avances. Okay? Because now perhaps you don't notice it, but you are using more English than when you start. Quizás no lo noten, pero algunos me están utilizando más vocabulario que cuando comenzaron. Which is great. And that's the idea. Now, we are going to do another exercise because, I mean, it's too boring for you just to be seeing me. Muy aburrido que me vean solo a mí. So we are going to do a small exercise and I'm going to share with you another presentation, okay? Okay. Simple present game. You have to choose the right option. The alarm clock, the alarm clock ring, rings, or ringes. Let's see, Anna, tell me, ring, rings, or ringes? What's the correct? Mm -hmm. Ring. Rings. Remember, the alarm clock, ring. it's an object, it. It rings. So the alarm clock rings. You see? And it's correct. Great. Now let's see. Next. Mr. Black. Look at Mr. Black. Mr. Black drinks, drunk or drink. What do you think, Jenny? Drinks, drink. drunk or drink? Drinks. Drinks? Yes. Let's see. Excellent. Drinks. That's correct. Now, the next one is for Mayra. Hello, Mayra. Oh, look Hello. at this guy. He make, do, or does some exercise. He does. He does. Excellent, does. Mayra. Now, please, Andres. Then he I... has, has, or have. I don't know. See. In this case, the verb have is a special verb. For the third person, has. Okay. okay? Sí, es que, es que no había cambiado la hasta ahorita. Ah, okay, okay, perfect. So, he has a shower. Okay, now let's see, uh, Daniel. I cannot see the, the presentation. You cannot see it? 
No problem, no problem. Let's see. Uh, Carlos, can you see it? Perhaps he couldn't. Cesar, what about you? Can you see the presentation? No, no, I don't see. Okay, I think everybody's having problems. So we are going to do different. Let's forget about that. Don't worry, we have plan B. <laughs> yes, <laughs> plan B, don't worry. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see. Carla, tell me something you do in the morning. I I break I breakfast mm -hmm. at seven o'clock. I am. I, I have breakfast. I have breakfast seven. I am. Okay. Listen to me, Carla. I have breakfast at seven a.m. I have a breakfast seven at a.m. Perfect. Now, uh, Andres. Tell me something you do in the morning. Uh, that uh, right that when we hit Cesar uh, at working at uh, the okay. office. Okay, to work, to work yes. to the office. I ride with Cesar to work. Yes. Okay, perfect. Now, Andres, tell me what Carla does and what you do. Like this, look, look. Carla has breakfast at 7 a.m. Andres rides with Cesar to work every day. Okay, now stop. Andres, no problem with you. Now, Cesar, tell me something you do every day in the morning. I I wake I wake up uh, very early every day. Okay. What about Carla? Tell me, Cesar, about Carla. Uh, she takes a breakfast. Okay. At seven o'clock. Okay. Perfect. What about Andres? Tell me, Cesar. Uh, uh, he 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 writes okay with with me to the work okay perfect now thank you Cesar Vicente okay. hello tell me something you do every day in the morning and uh, I take a shower at. 5.30 a.m. Okay. Tell me, Vicente, what about Carla? She takes a uh, breakfast at 7 a.m. What about Andres? Andres uh, rides. rides. Perfect. Rides and... Uh, with Cesar? Carlos at work. Okay. With, with Cesar at work. Perfect. Thank you. What about Cesar? And Cesar wakes up. Okay. And um, at what time? You don't remember? Tell me, Cesar, what time do you wake up every day? Uh, six o'clock. Okay, at six o'clock. Listen, guys, listen. Now, let's see. Ileana. Okay. Yes, teacher. Tell me, Ileana, something you do every day in the morning. Mm. I, I get up six Okay, thank you. What about Andres, Ileana? 
Ay, no. Ay, no remember, teacher. I don't remember. Okay, perfect. Okay, listen carefully. Okay, just listen. Let's see. Carla. Yes. Uh, okay, tell me, Carla, about Andres. Andres, he writes with okay. Cesar work. Perfect. Tell me about Vicente. Be, he's he he takes takes a shower five a.m. No? Is that correct, Vicente? Five thirty a.m. Okay, at five thirty, Carla. Okay, uh, tell me, Carla, what about Cesar? He wakes up six o'clock. Perfect. Excellent. Now, Ileana, tell me about Carla. Um, she, she take a clock seven o'clock. She has breakfast. She has breakfast seven o'clock. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Ileana. Julio. Hello. Hello, Julio. Tell me about uh, Andres. Uh, take a shower at uh, 3, 3 a.m. Okay, okay. Andres, mm -hmm. is that correct? Andres? Hi. Okay. What, what was your <laughs> sentence, Andres? ¿Cuál fue su oración? La que yo dije o la que... Yes, Julia, yes, yes. Que, no, what you do. Uh, the, that um, in the morning, right, the Cesar did the work in Okay, the he writes to work with the Cesar. Writes to work. Uh -huh. Okay, listen, hey. Julio. What hey. about, uh, what about Ileana? Who remembers what Ileana does? ¿Quién se acuerda que hace Ileana? She wake up. She's wake up at six a.m. Okay, is that correct, Ileana? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Now let's see, Carlos. Tell me something you do every day in the morning. Mm. Qué bueno, mañana es la pregunta. Yes. Pero... One thing, sí. just one thing. Yes, one thing. Solo una cosa. Uh, I take coffee. Okay. At what time? Uh, 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 six o'clock. Okay, you take coffee at six o'clock in the morning. Six o'clock in the morning. Okay, excellent, excellent. Mayra. Hello. Hello, Mayra. Tell me about Carla. Do you remember about Carla? Yes. She have a breakfast. Okay, she six. has breakfast. Six o'clock. At six o'clock. Is that correct, Carla? You have breakfast at six o'clock? Seven o'clock. Ah, you see, at seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Okay, listen up, guys. The important fact of this exercise is for you not just to remember what they do, but to use the verb in third person. As far as I can see, you are really applying that because we remember we said that Andres writes. We say that... Uh, Ileana wakes up. You see the S. Carla has breakfast or takes a breakfast. Both are correct. You can have breakfast or you can take a breakfast. Both are okay. So, no problem with that? Now, let's make a small review. Hagamos un pequeño repaso. Recordemos. 
Utilizamos el presente simple para explicar hábitos, hechos, rutinas. ¿Ok? Cuando hablamos de hábitos y rutinas nos referimos casi a lo mismo. Hechos, cosas que no cambian. Like, Carla studies English. Eh, Cesar takes care of his daughter. Andrés lives with his friends. ¿Ok? Eh, Ileana wakes up very early. I am stating facts. Estoy diciendo en algunos casos hechos, en algunos otros casos hábitos. That's simple present. Remember, affirmative form, este día nos hemos enfocado mucho en la afirmativa. ¿Ok? Tomorrow we are, we are going to work with yes, no question, and we are also going to review the negative form. También vamos a revisar la forma negativa. ¿Ok? El don't and doesn't. But today I wanted to have this, the third person, clear, because believe it or not, for some people that's very complex. Para algunas personas, aunque no lo crean, es muy difícil. But as, as far as I can see, you are really catching up. Uh, así como puedo ver, ustedes sí lo están aplicando. Something very important that I can see is your participation has improved. Tu participación ha mejorado. I was worried that after a long week of vacation, you were going to be like slow. Estaba preocupado que después de una semana de vacación iban a estar un poquito lentos, but I am happy to see that you are really participating and that's excellent. Now, before we finish, I need to take attendance, okay? Carlos Alberto Menéndez. Present. Mayra Ileana. Present. Ana María Palacios. Present. Maybelline Michelle Martínez. Present. Mm -hmm. Maybelline Michelle Martínez, I don't see her. No here, no. And Erika de Carmen no here, Jennifer Elizabeth Hueso, she left. Ella quizás tuvo algún problemita. José Reinaldo Divide en Conet, Claudia Patricia Granados is here. Hello Claudia, can you talk? La veo pero no la escucho. Perhaps she's having problems with connection. Andrés Alberto Orellana? Present. Thank you. César Humberto López. Present. Perfect. Jenny Lizette Escobar. Present. Excellent. José Bersolís. No here. And let's see, Vicente Alexander. Present. Daniel Arturo. Present. Mayra Lizette. Present. Marcos is not here. Crisia Madeline Herrera. No here. Maybelline Janira Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Carla Ivonne Bolaños. Present. Thank you. Julio Alonso Durán. Present. Perfect. Please, guys, por favor, antes de que nos desconectemos, y lo diré en español, trabajemos en la plataforma. ¿Ok? Este día debemos de estar trabajando ya. Estamos ya en la segunda sección. Tenemos que tener ya la siguiente tarea, la que corresponde este día, ¿verdad? Vamos en orden. Entonces, esa tarea corresponde a lo que se ha visto este día. ¿Okay? Si se han fijado, cada tarea corresponde al material que se ve en la clase. Cualquier duda, por favor, escríbanme y con gusto les atiendo. Let me see. Any question, guys? ¿Alguna duda? No. Nope. Well, thank you very much. Have a good night. And I am glad to see you. Me alegro verlos a todos. Thanks, teacher. Rest, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Take care. See you tomorrow. Good night. It goes like this.